Kalki is described in the Puranas as the tenth avatar of Vishnu who will come and rejuvenates existence by ending the darkest and destructive period to remove Adharma. He is yet to appear, some say that he will come at the end of times. The Kalki avatar would be the tenth and final incarnation of Lord Vishnu that would appear at the end of the present Kali Yuga. Legends and various Hindu texts say that he will appear as the son of Vishnuyasha and an eminent Brahmin of a village named Shambhala. He will become the king, a turner of the wheel, and one who triumphs. He will eliminate all barbarians and robbers, end Adharma, restart Dharma, and save the good people. After that, humanity will be transformed, and the Golden Age will begin, state the Hindu manuscripts. In the Kanchipuram temple, two relief Puranic panels depict Kalki, one relating to Luna, moon-based, dynasty as mother of Kalki and another to Sola, sun-based, dynasty as father of Kalki. He will kill all the wicked men of the world, destroy all the bad things in the world, and gather all the men of belief and truth. However, many men claim to be the reincarnation of Kalki. One such theory during the rounds is of Mirza Ghulam Ahmed born on 13 February 1835, died on 26 May 1908. He was an Indian religious leader and the founder of the Ahmadiyya movement in Islam. He claimed to have been divinely appointed as the promised Messiah Mahdi and Kalki. A claim which was refuted and he could never prove. The attribute of Imam Mahdi is similar to those attributed to the Kalki of the Hindus, the Maitreya of the Buddhist, or the Christ of the Christians. As per Buddhist text Kalachakra Tantra, the righteous king is called Kalki and is predicted to end the chaos and degeneration by assembling a large army to eradicate a barbarian army. This incarnation of Vishnu is to appear at the end of the Kali or Iron Age, seated on a white horse, with a drawn sword blazing like a comet, for the final destruction of the wicked, the renovation of creation, and the restoration of purity. Also, as per the Sikh text, the Kalki incarnation appears in the historic Sikh texts, most notably in Tenth Granth, a text that is traditionally attributed to Guru Gobind Singh. The 24 incarnation mentions sage Matsyana describing the appearance of Vishnu incarnations to fight evil, greed, violence, and ignorance. It includes Kalki as the 24th incarnation to lead the war between the forces of righteousness and unrighteousness. While there is no mention of Kalki in the Vedic literature, Kalki appears for the first time in the Great War epic Mahabharata. The mention of Kalki in the Mahabharata occurs only once. The Kalki incarnation is found in the Mahapuranas such as Vishnu Purana, Matsya Purana, and Bhagavata Purana. However, the details relating the Kalki mythologies are divergent between the epic and the Puranas, as well as within the Puranas. In the Mahabharata, according to Hiltabatal, Kalki is an extension of the Parashurama incarnation legend, where a Brahmin warrior destroys Kshatriyas who were abusing their power to spread chaos, evil, and the persecution of the powerless. The epic character of Kalki restores Dharma, restores justice in the world. How and when Kalki will appear to restore the world we can just assume from the different texts that is available to us, is he the same as Mahdi we don't know, although religious scholars may come up with some similarities between both the divine avatars but the objective to end the wickedness and oppression of the world is the same. Most of the world religions have faith in the future of humanity. They all believe, though in different forms, that a Messiah will save the entire humanity and the world from all sins. The Messiah will establish a society on the basis of true virtues. The Hindu religious scripture Mahabharata says whenever there are sins and injustice in the world the God sends his messenger to earth to fight all evils and establishes an order dictated by justice, equality and peace. Ancient Hindu texts clearly state that at the end of Kaliyug, period full of sins, a saint named Kalki will come to this world to fight all evils and to establish just order. In the same conspectus Bible says that Jesus will come back to earth and after fighting enemies of humanity, establish rule of the Lord God. 
Islam though recognizes Jesus as Messiah and believers have faith in him that he will fight against rampant injustice and corruption in religion, but they categorically differentiate between Imam Mahdi and Jesus. Prophet according to Hinduism is not a messenger or apostle of God but God himself, since he does not send anyone but himself descends to execute his divine plan. Kalki, therefore, would be God himself rather than a messenger of God. So what do you think when will the Vishnu 10th avatar Kalki appear? Or it's just a myth let us know in the comments. Until next time with another interesting video. Please share like and subscribe to our channel.